won't see many smiles when returns on Sunday, but behind the scenes these stars have a blast. Martin Comston, Adrian Dunbar and Vicky McClure filmed the hard-hitting hit BBC drama in Belfast with the rest of the cast. And Comston, who plays DS Steve Arnett, says the fifth series could well be the best yet. I don't want to sound like one of those that holds in a band going this is my greatest album ever, but I think this could be our strongest year, he laughs. The guest stars they've cast are phenomenal, and it's such a strong storyline. It's exciting. This year the AC-12 team is chess and career criminals Lisa McQueen, played by Rachenda Sandal, and John Corbett, a Caballo Clava man, played by Stephen Graham. We're changing tack this year, says Comston, whose character now has a beard. AC-12's job description is going after bent coppers, but now we're going directly after the criminals, who the cops are in league with. The Glaswegian admits it is difficult keeping his English accent convincing after so many episodes. He says, I do get a lot of people asking, why didn't I just play it with my own accent, but I went in for the part of a London cop, with this accent I wouldn't have got it. Dunbar's character, DCI Ted Hastings, is under further scrutiny as the team try to find out who mysterious bent copper H is, and now who lives in a budget hotel after his wife filed for divorce. He jokes that he is a bit miffed this year's series is billed as from the makers of The Bodyguard. He says, here we are knocking our pan in over seven years, and they waltz in the front door. It's also said to be interesting for McClure, who got to do plenty more stunts this time around as DS Kate Fleming. She says she had a stunt double, but the poor girl didn't get a look in. She had all her hair cut off and she sat in a chair for three days and I ran solid for three days, she says. Bless her, she didn't do a thing. Stephen's a good baddie guest star Stephen Graham, a Caballo Clava man, is as bad a baddie as you could imagine. Fellow guest lead Richenda Sandal says, he's electric. It makes everyone else act better in a weird kind of way, because it's so real, and truthful and passionate. Let's hope he only gets a prop gun in the show. Mates make time to party they all live next door to each other during filming, and they like to party. Martin laughs, I had one wild one and Vicky came up and cleaned my apartment for me. I just clean. McClure laughs. Not sure DC Kate Fleming would approve. Stars not looking, so menacing Maya Sandi is another cast member who is a bit of a fan of Stephen Graham. He plays an incredibly menacing buddy but she laughs, worked with this legend yesterday and he blew my effing mind. Wait until you see him. Acting's not all glamour rich and a sandal said joining the cast as a leader of an organized crime unit was daunting, but fun. The actress reveals, it's like going to a Christmas dinner as a new in-law, but one that everyone's like, oh great, she's coming. She got to take the woolly hat off occasionally, but her dressing room doesn't look too luxurious. Two shakes until filming here are a couple of smoothies. Enjoying a fruity drink together. Adrian reckons his body is a temple, but he has to hide it for dot I'm usually ripped, but nobody would believe a senior officer looks like that, 
he says. You've got to present a proper British type cop, not an American one. They have we guns, we have a pen and paper. No sweat for cops in interviews even tough guys like Martin and Adrian need a bit of help with sweat during intense interview scenes. Adrian jokes it takes a lot of work to turn into Ted Hastings. He says, obviously I work out. Why have a six-pack when you can have a whole barrel? Dark turn from Maya just a joke she's dabbled on the dark side by helping bent coppers and now Manit Vindra looks like a robber. But this is just actress Maya Sandi messing around after nicking a balaclava from Rachenda Sandal. She admits, I didn't keep it. Adrian on the crest of a wave Adrian appears excited that filming is coming to an end so that he can sail off into the sunset. He says he gets the most female attention from fans. Women of a certain age, he says. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. Martin's so close to family Martin looks happy on what he calls bring your wife to work day. He and actress Deanna Chanel Flynn tied the knot in 2016, with Dunbar and McClure as guests. Bump clue so baffling Manit's baby is now crawling around, so is she wearing the fake pregnancy bump for a flashback scene? Adrian says Manit's previous dodgy behavior will be probed. That's a very strong storyline that needs to play out. There will be a resolution. Read more showbiz editors' picks.